Lakini wakati anaenda kumit muache tu yeye. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank So we really want to thank you all of you. Hey. More power to Diana, more power. More power. Long, live Diana. Long live Diana, long live. Long live. Diana will come home. More power, Diana, more power. More power. Long live Diana, long live. Long live. Viva Kenyans everywhere. Viva. Viva. Viva, viva Kenyans. Viva. 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 Thank you very much. As you have all seen, uh, we've been waiting for Diana, Chef Kemboy, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, you all know the story. She's going through very difficult times. She was unwell and uh, she was not getting any medical attention. She's gone through atrocities which we cannot explain now. We will leave it to the authorities. But we thank God yeah. that the mother is here together with our MP for Konoin, MP for East. My name is Vaska Kangogo uh, from Nairobi County and Wasingishu. And we've been following up on Diana. Diana is safe. She's good. She went for her first medical checkup uh, three days ago. And uh, we had a repeat through the ambassador uh, of uh, Arabia. We want to thank the Ministry of uh, Labor. Uh, CS Chalugui, PS2, uh, Madam, uh, uh, the CEO for the Employment Authority, and the ambassador uh, together with the attache for giving us the support. Thank you also the online community, Challenges Online and others abroad, who really fought for and advocated for Diana until we found her. But the hero today is Diana yeah. because she kept strong. We kept on asking her location. She was not able to use her phone, but through the wisdom that God gave her, we were able to locate her. 
So we really want to thank you. And Diana is here together with the mother. Might be uh, might be the mom can make a comment first. Long live Diana, long live! Long live. Paka kesho saa kumi. Hiyo ni accommodation ya Gatlan office. Nye makungi metupeleka huko. Nacho mwake. Hey guys, we're just a take a year waiting for Dana. And uh, anytime I think she has landed, we'll ask Miss Palmer to take another three, three, thirty minutes. We need my market for up, and then maybe the relatives are making. So I think later on we'll have uh, a short press uh, twilight more because we still have problems with our girls in the town. So Mama, I'm not going to lie, I'm a fry. I'm not going to fry. I'm not Everyone contributed. The, 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 the social media platforms will contribute so much. So I want to thank everyone, guys. The, the Kalimina support and everyone may to contribute to social media to come down. So we are here waiting for Diana. And uh, later on, the one uh, a short press for the and then uh, I, I I believe uh, the one uh, that I left uh, guys from uh, the list because I've seen one yet. Maybe I don't know if I do here. Let's not. We must get some information from them. I've seen some guys from the labor ministry here, so I will reach to them so that they will just give us also what uh, the labor that is doing in in in, uh, in in Saudi Arabia. So, but I can go to in the less than an half an hour. We will be with Diana herself. Thank you, guys. See you later. Abra, Mama. Mama, my mother, 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 my I had this problem of Diana, but I've been praying for her and the entire family members. 
So I'm so I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. So delighted that I can look for me because we are now accepting the end. Kasa, kuja mwesh. Alafu hakuna food alafu kimpiga simu anakuambia usitari nitakusaidia kesho kesho tangu mwesita mwezi wa 6 tarehe 12 mpaka leo sidai pata msaada wa chuo sasa huko mnapigwa ama mnafanyiwa mateso aina gani aina ya kazi how many hours wanasema tufanye kazi 18 hours mateso mengine gani alafu naweza fanya nyumba mbili ama tatu kwa siku walikuwa nakupia chakula walikuwa na kudumu matusi eh yeah, matusi ni kawaida hiyo iko mshahara hata watanilipa ngini mepaki huko 9 months sasa nikijaribu kujaribu embassy nilienda kwa embassy ndio nilisaidia nikaletwa sakani ndio nimerudi Kenya na mimi mwenye anaitwa shogi lakini chuma nilienda alinitusi Yeah. Yeah. Okay, majina yangu ni Joyce Miu. Nilikuja na agent ya Makungu International. Nikapelekwa Saudi Gazlan office. Sasa hiyo ofisi yetu ni same office na huyu ya Saudi. That office like mimi nilienda job but so my employer akakuwa mbaya. So wanasema employer kwa mbaya unabadilishwa, unapelekwa kwa employer mwingine. So in that situation mimi nika nikarudi kwa accommodation nikasema wanibadilishie nyumba nikaka like one month without work wanasema tu watanitafutia 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 job hatutafutii kazi tunashangaza tunakaa nini chakula tunarushiwa hivi kama doki tumetafuta usaidizi usaidizi kwa watu atupati tumedokiwa kwa room like awoni nje saa like tumefungiwa tu no food yani chakula mnakula once kama hiyo ni saa kumi mpaka kesho saa kumi. hiyo ni accommodation ya Gatlan office nye makungu imetupeleka huko sasa tunakaa hivyo maji ni ya chumvi hata maji lelo hiyo maisha maisha mbovu kabisa so tuka wakakuwa tuka complain sana tuka, mpaka tukakuwa high like tukakuwa na hasira tukasema hapa leo hatukai wakakuja si tukawasukuma tukatoka nje wote tukatembea kwa streets the funny thing is tuka call suzi Suzi aki sit kwa kwa street office yenu ya Gatlan haizuzumi we kama agent tu akenye utatusaidia vipi jibu alitupea tuambia mjiso mjisot so tukashindwa tuka tutajisot aje naenda tuleta Saudi yeye yeah, ashakula pesa she's okay with her family si tangu mimi nilienda job nikafanya two months i was not paid anything even i've come back with nothing unaona so like i just went for a vacation na nilienda kuteswa na nirudi So Suzi anafa she's very rude by the way. Anaweza kutusi, anaweza fa even yani mtu yote anaweza kuambia ama kublutiki ukimtext. Haya ukiuliza wao staff members wako anakuambia Suzi anashughulikia, anashughulikia sijui sasa yako campaign wacha period ya campaign ishe. Period ya campaign imeisha we are still in Sakan embassy. Sasa tulitoka Gazlan accommodation wakasema wanatuuza accommodation you know which it's very wrong cause sifai kuuza kwa accommodation nyingine na sijaenda na hiyo ofisi unaona so tukaka like walikuwa wanatupeleka kutuuza si tukakata tukasema we cannot enter in that accommodation tukakata kabisa so venye tulikata in that process tunabishana bishana na watu ofisi wakatubeba na maskari tukapelekwa police station tukaandika statement then tukapelekwa sakan embassy sasa hiyo sakan embassy tume, nimeka two months two weeks hapo ndo nimekaa mpaka tumeshughulikiwa tumekuja hata huyu aliyetwa juzi sakan 
sasa ndo tumesafiri na ye. So like miki tunaweza sema kwa hizi office zinapeleka watu nini Saudi wako tu responsible because kila mtu anataka pesa. Kila mtu ako na familia anataka alishe. Si ati tunaenda huko kwa sababu ya nini? Na most of the employers in Saudi they are bad. Si sema ni wazuri. Most of them are bad but kuna wachache tu ndo wazuri. Na kuna watu wamangukia bosses wazuri kuna wengine wabaya. So miki tunaweza sema tu mtu ukishapeleka watoto watu huko Saudi at least be responsible of them. Usiache mtoto wangu kama sasa hivi nimerudi with nothing. What will, will I take to my daughter ama my sister zangu ama babangu ajibunie mtoto wangu alienda Saudi. Nothing. Kuna plan kwenda huko. Mimi niko na passport yangu. I've got my own passport because my scar walitushika kwa barabara na ofisi wakawapokonya. So hiyo ndio ilikuwa benefit yangu. But sasa singeshikwa na maskari mpaka sasa hii singekuwa. Hata kuna tumebakisha Gazilan office watu wa makungu wako huko sita. Sakan embassy hawajashughulikiwa. Kuna mama mwingine mzee kabisa ameka six months without work. Bwanaka alikufa, amekuja kutafuta ndio asomeshe watoto. Mpaka sasa hii ameka. Nani atasomesha watoto? Na government That's officials how how the government officials uh, wa Kenya wana respond mkiongea? Government officials si like si tuna deal na tunaambia embassy like yo mtu na nishogi agent wetu uh, wa embassy ya Kenya yenda anafaa kutusaidia so mkimwambia anasema tunaenda na process but since akuje yenyewe tumeona watu wanato wanatoka even if unaka 3 months 4 months but ana make sure umetoka but auko kwa hiyo hostile environment mm. kwa hiyo embassy tumekuwa there is food yani huko ni kupoa lakini sasa accommodation za Saudi ni mbaya unasikia hata kama si hiyo time tukasema we need work wakatuambia kama mnataka kazi na mko serious tukubali watutumie ndo tupewe kazi ukasema no that cannot happen because sisi hatukuja kufukua sexual workers sisi tulikuja kufanya kazi tupate pesa zetu kuna wasana wenye labda wana plan kwenda huko wameza wameza mimi sijui kitu naweza kuambia by the way usiyo kiambia mtu eti Saudi ni kubaya atasema umtaki unaona like mtu ako na pressure sasa unasema Mungu mwenyewe amtangulia apate boss mzu, mzuri but mimi kitu naweza advice mtu wa Saudi for real mimi si advice mtu aende Saudi Juma ni nani huyu Juma ni nani Juma ameletwa juzi kwa embassy ya Sakan waka transfer shoki akaenda place nyingine inaitwa Jida Asa Juma ameletwa atumiwa lakini huwa anasikia kwa na matusi but me personally sijakutana na Juma mi shogi ndo namjua sasa mi Juma si mjivu sana labda utoke wazi sasa hivi nimekuja vipi like ama like si tumelikuwa na embassy tumelikuwa na embassy sasa ni kama tu deportation hata kwa ndege yenyewe tumekaa nje tangu tutoke huko hatuja kula anything Sinza hata hatuna do hata ya kubai chakula hata saa tujui fair tutatoa pia kutupeleka mpaka nyumbani tuko tu tumekuja like tumekuwa na Uganda so over 50 Ugandans and Kenyans so I mean Kenya Kenya so I, I don't know the exact them. number unaenda kwa support them unaweza unaenda hapo ngoma na jina yako ni jina yako ni Joyce Mimi unaenda which which Joyce Mimi Ulienda wen? Mimi nimeenda nimeenda juzi sijakaa Saudi sana. How many months? Six months. Yes, you can help me. Thank you mshimiwa. I have relatives. Ah, thank you mshimiwa. Thank you mshimiwa. Thank you mshimiwa. Na wila mwingine ameenda wapi? Abu ngeresha mbunge yako. Mwingine. Unajua mbunge yako anafaya. Hata huyu pia anafaya mwezi. Anajua huyu pia ametaka. Unajua mbunge yako? Hiyo kuna simu. Kuna simu. Kuna simu. Kuna simu. Hata niza wapeleka sahi mbaka yu ofisi Uyo manamuka kwa na matusu Iko Koinange Street Consolidated Bank Kuna msiana nataka msaidi Ale abrudi ya jine yu ofisi Koinange Street Consolidated Bank Second Floor Hapo ndo yu ofisi iko Na si atuja lipua pesa zetu Sa unataka suzi atupe pesa juu She was not responding Atupe mshara yetu I think we need to make a strong statement to this company 97 Unajua mbunge yako anaitwa nani? Mbunge yako anaitwa nani? Mbunge wangu. Unajua? Toka nje bwana. Kaunti yako ni gani? Ngoma. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, remember to your 3000 each eh? Yeah. So, I think you dawa saidia kidogo. Yeah, that's thank you mshimiwa. Sasa, kana sema my 